No way you guys can get around LA without either spending a ton on Ubers and Lyfts or driving yourself around. And this is actually pretty cool because I don't know my way around yet since I'm still new in town. So there's this feature where I could just type in wherever I want to go to and the car will direct me. So I don't have to focus on my phone or do anything else and I can just focus on the right. First adventure with this bad boy, we are driving all the way to I want to say WeHo, and we're going to pick up my friend Pia, and we're just going to hang out and catch up. So, let's go. Okay, sa kabila kasi girl, alapin mo yung merong card na ano, na butas. Okay, hindi po niya mabasa guys. Okay. You put your card first. You have to put your card first. How come it says expires 5pm? Ah, meron pa siya ng ano. Okay, you guys, we don't have pepper, but he had whole pepper. So he put it in this, that's a garlic the crusher, garlic right? Crusher. And we are now we making, I mean, it's pepper. working, right? Yeah, there yeah. you go. See? We find ways. <laughs> Living in America. <laughs> awesome, thanks.
Hey guys, so I am just finishing up getting ready and as you can see my background is different because I just moved into my own Airbnb so it's almost like I have my own little like studio apartment set up which is kind of cool. I really like the place I got to choose although when I was booking before I even left Manila, there really weren't a lot of options left. So, I mean, it worked out anyway. So I'm thinking today, uh, well, I have to do the groceries, but I don't have a car today. So I'm thinking I might as well just do a quick apartment tour while we're here. And while I still haven't completely messed up the place or like made it too messy, I would show you guys what it looks like and yeah, give you a little tour. So let's go. Okay guys, here we go. Really quick apartment tour. It's not really my apartment. I'm only just renting it out for the month while I'm here, but it seems to work out perfectly because it's just the right amount of space that I need for myself and I'm gonna take you around. As you can already see, like maybe 50% of the apartment is behind me. But let's start here. Okay, so once you walk into the apartment, the first thing you see is the living area, which I turned into my makeup area slash work zone. So this is basically where I will sit down and like watch TV. I'll do my makeup while I'm watching TV. So at least I'm kind of like killing two birds with one stone. I also have my little workstation. So I'll be editing and answering all my emails over here. So that way when it's time to go to bed and when it's time to relax, I can like compartmentalize and leave all the work thoughts, everything in this area. I also made this my little styling area because it was just an overflow from the closet, which you will see in a little bit. So basically this is where I just keep all of the accessories, which is easier to throw on before I go out the door. Up next, we have the sleeping area. Nothing exciting happening here. If you guys watched previous videos on my vlog, then you already know I always bring my own pillowcases and somehow they just never seem to match because I just don't care. Like in my mind, if I forget them or if I leave them, then it's not a big deal. And yeah, everything else is in a previous vlog on what I brought in quarantine. So I'll put a link of that down below. So let's move on to the kitchen. All right, here we have the kitchen and I'm actually really happy they already set everything up so I didn't really need to buy anything. And as you can see, I just did the dishes and they're drying right now. There's still some dishes I need to do in the sink, which I will get to in a bit. Also, I don't really spend a lot of time here. You guys already know I'm not the best cook. So again, not so exciting but I'll take you to the other part of the apartment. Also, I just realized one of the neighbors is using like some sort of drill or something. So you, for sure you guys can hear that because if I can hear it, you can hear it. So I'm sorry about that, but I don't know. I, I can't really tell him to stop. So we're just gonna have to power through. Okay, now on to the dining room. Here we have a dining table <laughs> with three chairs, but again, not really expecting to have any guests. So what actually happens is when I do the laundry and I don't have any other place to hang it, then I just hang it over these chairs. So you can imagine how not cute that is when it's laundry day, but just gotta do what you gotta do. And we'll move on to the, I guess the most exciting part, which is the closet tour, which isn't really a closet, it's more like a rack. Okay guys, so here comes the end part of the tour. It's a tiny studio, so there's really not much to the tour, but this is the closet, which is really just a rack of clothes. I started off with maybe, no, you know what? I'm not gonna lie. I brought a lot of these clothes here with me, which is why I just, I can never pack light. But a lot of these also were sent over, like this one was sent over because Love Bonito is able to ship internationally. Revolve also ships internationally and a lot of the brands I work with. So they were able to send some clothes here, which saved me a lot of time or a lot of space when it came to packing. So also some of these, like I cannot wait to wear this piece. This was sent over by Colombian Collective, I think they're called. 
oh my gosh i cannot wait to wear this i just have to find a place to wear it too so i don't know where i'm gonna wear it yet but at least it's here if i have the option a lot of the things i packed are just a lot of basics like a lot of things i can mix and match like a white tag top pair of white jeans blue jeans also when i travel i always bring packing cubes and it worked out perfectly because of these shelves i'm able to then organize little segments using the cubes and then those like all came with the apartment so i didn't really have to think about it too much and since it's getting colder i just brought plain coats with me so at least i have like basics covered so i have like a black blazer, a brown blazer, a white blazer, and then a navy coat. And then I'm expecting something else to arrive sometime this week. But yeah, it's really just about like if you're living off of a suitcase or two like I am, you just have to be creative about, you know, mixing and matching things. That way you're not overpacking. But I really shouldn't be the person to talk about this because I always overpack anyway. So that is the entire tour. That's just a bathroom. It's tiny in there and nothing exciting. Okay, so before we wrap this up, I just wanted to show you guys a few things that have really gotten me excited and like made my life easier since I've been out here. The first is I bought this yesterday and these are like press on nails. They're so cool because if you do not have time to spend like two hours at the nail salon and sometimes it also costs like a lot like it's so easy like it, it's an instant manicure i think this was how much was this i can't remember but it couldn't have been that much and i bought two sets and i got like neutral colors because that way like you know they could go with all my outfits and also i bought this two like 10 days ago and i'll put their links down below so that you guys can check them out but it's so useful because if I'm just rushing out the door, I can just like hang my phone and check it and then it's like a cute case and then I even bought a pop socket to hold it up when I'm using it or when I don't want to be like holding it up when I'm watching something. So I'll put their account right here. I think this was around maybe $12, maybe. I'm sure it's even cheaper like if you guys look on Lazada or something. But uh, yeah, super useful. And those are two of the things I've really been loving recently. Yeah, I haven't done much because all of yesterday I had to buy food because obviously I didn't have water here. So grab it. It's so much adulting. And then also I have all the suitcases. I actually don't think you guys saw the suitcases, but like I have one suitcase over there and then I have another one over there. I just had to like unpack and put everything where they needed to be so that it's a little bit more organized and I'm not constantly like rummaging through suitcases every time I have to go to a meeting or like, you know, go out and do something. So because I still have to adult and I still have, I think I need to go to the grocery today, just made a list. I'm gonna wrap this video up here and if you guys have any questions or like you want to see anything on the channel let me know in the comment section just so that i can actually share things that you guys would be interested in this week i just have a lot of what do i have this week i just have a lot of work stuff to do so i don't know maybe i'll go see something touristy and exciting and if i do i'll take you guys with me but for now thank you so much for watching if you guys haven't already please do hit that subscribe button it really means a lot and also hit the thumbs up button so that I know to make more videos like this if that's something you guys are interested in and also leave me some feedback in the comment section so that I know what you guys want to see more of and also I want to say that I have seen a lot of your guys's DMs, emails, messages from the last vlog and I'm going to really try to be a lot more active now that I'm feeling a little bit better I'm slowly feeling like myself again I'm trying to get into the groove of things and I really want to say thank you so much to all of you guys for being supportive and understanding and just knowing that, you know, sometimes things are good and sometimes things aren't that great. So I'm feeling better and it, it, just, it feels great to just be able to be out and go for a walk and, you know, just go do things like being back in somewhat of a normal situation. So 
yeah, I hope you guys can go on this journey with me and I'll see you guys on my next vlog. Bye.